Friends of Gravity. Can a marble run both be cute and a real challenge at the same time? This is what we're gonna find out today. This is Gravitrax Jr. <laughs> My kids saw a TV commercial for this and they thought this was a super cute Marvel run with those little animals and all those nice and neat decorations and they wanted it for Christmas. And now we have this and I wanted to take the opportunity and do a quick video about this. So this is a new Marble Run system from Ravensburger. It's called Gravitrax Junior and it's kind of inspired by the original classic Gravitrax but it's for smaller children. Everything is a little bit simpler, everything is a little bit cuter. Let's take a quick look at this box. This system is for smaller children. Obviously the complexity has been reduced a little bit and they have added these cute elements here and those cute elements they absolutely work for my children I have to say that they think they're super cute on the back of the box there's the list of the different elements and also here you have the four themes of this set so if you notice the decoration elements they each correspond to certain themes so this is the underwater theme this is the jungle theme this is the desert theme up here and then the arctic theme up here for each of those themes they also offer a separate starter set that's a little bit smaller and then only contains elements from that theme the basic tiles look like this they are made from something that looks like recycled plastic but nowhere on the box do they claim that this is recycled plastic so it's probably not it feels quite good here this is what the standard tiles look like compared to the original gravitrax tiles the outer dimensions are absolutely the same but they are not compatible because the lower part of the tiles looks very much different so you can't put the classic gravitrax tiles on the base plates of this system or vice versa also the marbles this is a classic gravitrax marble made from metal and this is one of the marbles that come with this new system they are much larger and they are made from plastic so they are a little bit lighter these are the base plates that come with this system they are made from plastic too i actually like that i always wasn't too happy about the original gravitrax base plates being made from cardboard the only thing is the two systems are not compatible i'm really a little bit angry about this that ravensburger makes it impossible to use the two systems together you can't set the classic gravitrax tiles on these base plates i don't know that's not too nice i think they're already selling adapter pieces like a piece where you can connect a classic Gravitrax course with a Gravitrax Junior course but uh, no real compatibility here. Setting this up is fairly straightforward as you would expect from a toy for three to seven year old children. You just put down stacks of those height tiles and then you put the track tiles on top. And this is what a finished build then looks like. This is build number C from the instructions. Before I say anything more, I think I'm gonna quickly throw a marble in. This works really well. I like the sound of it. I like the speed with which the marbles roll down this uh, neat little course here. What I don't like so much about this course is that this only works with this hammer special element here, which is a nice special element, but it has to be readied every single time a marble has run through there. So you can't just have 10 marbles run through this course and have them all reach this ending piece here because every time a marble passes this, you have to set this hammer back up. But other than that, very nice course. Yeah, this works quite reliably. All together, I think there are five different track pieces in here. There's the standard curve. There's a straight. There weren't very many straights, always in regular Gravitrax. There is a tighter curve here that has a smaller radius. 
and there is a straight that reduces height. This is exactly the height of one of those spaces here. Yeah, and other than that, there are these S-curve elements. They're a little bit larger. There are two of them in this set and they're basically the only piece that can save you some supporting structures because they are a bridge. But there are only two of them in the box and this leads us to the things that I'd criticize, but more on that later. The spacers look like this. They are very simple hexagonal circular things. You can just stack them up like that and then put the track tiles on top. The special elements, this is a kind of a block and go element. The marble will be stopped here because there's this little plastic thing here and it can't go on. And then you push the button and it lifts up the yellow element and the marble can go on. Then there is this little seesaw element here that doesn't do much. The marble will run down here and then it will go back to its original state. And then of course there is this little hammer that's a really cool extra. It works quite well. The problem is I don't like those elements too much that you have to arm each time a marble ran through there. So it's a cool element, but for that reason, I don't like it too much. And if you know the classic Gravitrax, you will have noticed there are no rails in here, apart from those tiles. With the original Gravitrax, you have those rails connecting the different tiles. So you don't need a supporting structure for every piece of the marble run, because a lot of the track actually is realized as a bridge. With this here, you only have those tiles. So any tile that's supposed to be higher than the base, plate needs a stack of those spacers and even though there are a lot of spaces in here that's uh, 96 spaces in here so by far the most frequent element here in this set but still 96 spaces when you start building with this you will notice you will run out of these spaces quite quickly this track actually contains all of the spaces that are in the box so you couldn't build a much larger marble run with this even though there are some spare tiles left you just run out of spaces and then with this system you have those decorative elements that you can click onto the track tiles and that make the whole thing cute you have a water world and a jungle world and a desert world and an arctic world and those are the different themes and those are really nice. And one other thing this features, but they don't even show that on the cover art here. They have those little cardboard elements that you can stick onto this, little cardboard signs, but actually I think those are really ugly. They kind of destroy the beautiful look and feel of the whole thing. So I'm not gonna use those either, just put them back in the back. The only thing is those little holders, I think they could be kind of cool maybe kids could become creative and craft some decoration or something of their own for this marble run and for that they could be useful but the included cardboard printings here I don't like them too much. So I like the look and feel of it, I like the way the marbles race down here, I like those special elements. What I don't like so much is this set doesn't feature a switch. So you can only build one straight run here with this. The marbles will only be able to run down this course in one way. And not only does this set not contain a switch, but the whole system doesn't feature a switch yet. So I think even though this is for smaller children, to allow more variety and flexibility, I think a switch would absolutely be good. And also to build up a course with that, you really need a lot and a lot of those height tiles. And I think these elements here are really cool, but there are only two in the box and I think that's just not enough. I would have liked to have seen at least four or better eight of those pieces in here. I think that would allow kids to construct much more interesting tracks without needing an infinite amount of those height tiles. So the market leader in marble runs, at least in Europe, came out with this whole new system to attract younger kids and maybe to attract kids who are more into things that are cute and who might not appreciate so much this kind of cold stem oriented original Gravitrax. What do you think? Do you think this is a good idea? Is Ravensburger going the right direction here? Or does it make more sense for parents of younger children to first get one of the simpler sets of the classic gravel tracks and then increase complexity as the kids grow older if they're really into it. If you have an opinion on that, please leave a comment down below.
That was my short look at the Gravitrax Junior starter set, My Planet. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And please remember, what goes up must come down here at Gravity Bites.